Good afternoon, we love Bracen Evans. I, the sun's out. The sun is out and it's warm. Um, I thought I'd start my little walk around here at USA Chicken and Pizza. You see the adverts, they're very, very good kebabs. Uh, pizzas and everything else as well. Suzette's, of course, everyone knows Suzette's and Zap Thai, which is also brilliant. We're gonna have a little walk around. Show you what's different, because I know something's different. Um, True Crown Tattoo. Now this is run by the, the guys who used to run the, the, the uh, tattoo store shop on the corner. There's there's Catherine there from Clear to See. You're closing. Because the sun's good, isn't it? And you're open proper hours tomorrow, are you? Yeah, same as usual. Excellent, so excellent. I'm doing it today while the sun's good and hopefully it'll be good tomorrow yes, as well. Exactly. What's special at the moment? special at the moment oh, all sorts of lovely things um i've got some new soaps in and some new deodorants i saw some um essential oils as well yes essential oils just perfect for this time of year because it helps with uh, all the flies coming in so i've got nice ones like lemongrass and mandarin yeah so yeah some great stuff nice nice here. and fresh awesome Gladly. right you have a good day and i'll see you when i get back yeah have oh a my oh my god have a lovely walk i will i will <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later. There's Budgie. You yeah, everybody knows Budgie. Um, yeah, I mentioned a walk there. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be away uh, <laughs> for a little while. Um, on Monday, I get a train down to down to Saint Jean Pierre de Port in the south of France. It's between Bayonne and what's that other place? I honoured Lords, of course. Um, and I should be walking the Camino des Francaises, which is around 520 miles. And I'm out of breath already. <laughs> but it'll be good. It's something I've always wanted to do. As I turned 60, I, uh, I thought this is something I need to do while I, uh, while I can do it. There's no point trying to do it when I can't, because that's pointless, isn't it? Sunrise, well the sun's out, so why not sunrise? They've got a bit of a pride thing going on in the window there. Three Cats Vintage, of course, loads and loads. There's so much stuff in there, you just not believe. You have to go in and see. Um, and it's still empty. What a sorry looking sight that is. Now, I don't know whether you've noticed, but this is going on at Greg's. But it's not just the front of Greg's. It's all the way down. I don't know whether you know that there used to be a little fish and chip shop just down the side here, which has um, <laughs> been closed a long time. In fact, that whole area has been a bit run down for a very long time. <laughs> Maybe they'll do it up. Talking of run down, and I don't want to harp on it, but Casper's is still an empty premises. And uh, that's a very sad looking place. But of course you've got Tooth Club over the, over the other side not on the sunny side of the street. And I was talking about uh, the other day, what shops you remember in Bury. And of course over the road where the body shop is, where the body shop is, it used to be Percy Waits, if you remember that. And that's quite a long, long time ago. I am seriously showing my age. Of course, Crow's House has been there forever, hasn't it? <laughs> of course, this used to be the Castle Pub. It's here. And of course, Purdy's was over there. Ah, oh, Purdy's. That was good, wasn't that? That was really good.
Victoria Wine was where Mr. Sims is now. That's where I had my interview upstairs in there when I went went to work for Victoria Wine. That was a really good job. Wine tastings, hello. <laughs> I'm there, I'm at the front. Papa Keys Deli, always busy, always something going on in there. Lots of wonderful, wonderful food made by Margot. If you remember, this is where Waterstones, Edinburgh, Warmer Little Mill, that used to be the Suffolk Hotel. God, that is going back a bit, isn't it? And then Plumptons, which used to be Palmer's. Coates Brasserie is, that used to be the record, not the records office, that was the um, registry office, wasn't it? Way back in 1970. Oh, was only six. Greg's is still being done up here. Little stuff up here. Yeah. I'm back to the street. This is where Bohemia Berry is. Alma Coffee, and they'll be open Saturday morning to wake you up with a nice coffee. And of course, down here is a very new business, and this is Kitty Makes. She's tucked away, but there's a little sun trap down here when the sun's in the right direction. So there's Carla. Hello, Hi. Carla. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm very good. I'm very good. I thought the sun's out. I've got to come out and do a video. Yeah. So, so lovely. And you're prepping, obviously, for Father's Day. Would I be correct? Um, I'm just prepping on, on designing some new stuff. Oh, so you've got your Father's Day stuff ready anyway, I dare say. I've just got a couple of cards Oh, awesome. So pop down and see Carla. See, although it's Kitty makes, it's Carla that makes some Kitty. It's something you used to call yourself when you were a kitty, isn't it? Um, me and my sister. You and your sister. Each other kitty, yeah. Your mum's been telling me things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> great, you have a great day, Thanks won't you? Please. And have a great Saturday as well. Yes. It's going to be a lovely sunny day. Hopefully, yeah. Of course it will. <laughs> and people will know where you are now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Bye now. So, yeah, pop down and say hi to Carla. Well, pop. Up in and say hi to Fabian and the ladies here at Bohemia Berry. So, three great little independent shops all together, isn't that brilliant? Three in a row, that's almost like Connect Four. You're being curb crawled by an electric vehicle. <laughs> the trouble with these electric vehicles, you can't really hear them, can you? They sort of creep up behind you. I only agree with electric vehicles if the power that they use has come from solar power or a renewable energy source, because what's the point? You know, if you're getting electric from the from the grid, then it's not really saving anything, is it?
might like to discuss that amongst yourself. down here I hear that Wayne Wayne her hair is having a makeover so uh, I look forward to seeing those come up on their social media page I'm, I'm sure Stephen will be on to that I'm sure that's looking blacker than usual isn't it maybe that's part of their makeover It does look different. It does. It really does look different. So they are having a paint job. Oh, yeah, of course, down the side here. Yeah, so it's starting to look really sharp. Looking good. You might not be aware of Claire's house, studio and shop. It's pottery. And uh, when I come past, there's usually people in there on their potties. Made Boo Antiques. Go and see Elaine in there. Again, another shop which is absolutely, there is no space without something on it. So many bits and pieces. Sparkle and Co. Very, very successful lady. Uh, please get in touch via social media. Of course, Hestia Clinic, uh, always here. Little wave in there. Maybe wave. She waved. There you go, got a wave. <laughs> Mortar and Gorsden, really cracking guys. And uh, Michelle is away at the moment, but you can still see the artwork in there while she's away. She's off on a cruise somewhere. Kim doesn't appear to be there today. Uh, Kim, brilliant artist, she's been painting pebbles recently. Copio's Pantry, of course. I swear the best cheese scones in town. Of course, they'll be open tomorrow. Hello. You're Hello. Right? Yes, I'm... Oh, it is yourself. It is. I didn't recognise you because you... Huh? Have you seen my place today? Uh, I may have done. I... I... Best, potentially best cafe in Suffolk. Is this uh, Muddy Heels? No, Muddy Stilettos. No, Muddy no, Stilettos. Is... I, was... I knew it was something it's with shoes. Suffolk News. All oh, right. So, yeah, if, yeah. If you wanna, I think yeah. you've shared it. Have I? Shared it, there you go. You I do things without even realising what I'm doing. Don't I don't know what I'm doing. Of course I will. <laughs> so, you. so what is your business again? Just remind everybody. Ladies, two coffee and tea rooms in Whiting Street, number five. We've been here 15 years. Have you really? So, God, yeah. you need a medal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort one out for you. <laughs> okay. Take care. See you soon. No worries. Oh, best tea room. How about that? It's really cool. And of course, this is the said tea room, Bailey's Coffee, Bailey's Two, and then we've got By the Light, who are lovely, lovely ladies. Can I see in there? There's Claire. She's in. But well, she's in there. She's nice, bright window. Baskervilles, sadly closing at the end of August, but uh, they're going out on a bang. Well, not you know, they're going out on a. It's going to be a real big high. It's really, really good. And uh, all being well, I'll be there that night. And uh, what's going there? Meet and greet. The bush bar. Busy as always. There's always people in the bush, especially when they've got the windows open. Let's get a bit of breeze through. Of 
course coming back here there's Luna House with another another eclectic window with so many bits and pieces in uh, go and have a rummage on Saturday fantastic and I'm going back this way because there's some things we need to update on a little bit <laughs> oh, it's going to be interesting in summer when uh, you've got a lovely garden, but uh, because of the neighbours, you can't sit out there to close the garden off at nine o'clock because of the noise from the neighbours. They don't care for it. I'm coming down Guildhall Street because the guys that were at the corner tattoo shop in next to Zap Tai, basically, half of them went to the place in St John Street, which we've already seen, and this is the other place which is only love tattoos, and this is where the guys here who are from the art place. God knows what you're doing to TSB. <laughs> when I worked for TSB, one of the senior people told me TSB stands for try something better. Well, they're working on it. And of course, this is where Shires was. But prior to Sh prior to Shires, it almost rhymes. Prior to Shires, this is also where Serendipity was and Paul Lynch and Breeze Stop, which everybody remembers because of all the big. Paddington Bears, which is so so wonderful. Wish I'd got one. Perhaps it probably cost a fortune nowadays, no doubt. So, shops you remember from the past. Come on, I want some suggestions here. I can't remember everything. Try. I think she's speeding up there. <laughs> Hello, uh, it is Mr. Mr. Dorling, Rob Dorling, Berry Travel. Rob does specialises in travel between Berry St. Edmunds and the airports. Do you not? I do, James. He does, he does. Good to see you. Are you in training for your walks? Well, I'm walking. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you too, mate. You take care. Yeah, everybody keeps on saying to me, am I training for my walk? because did I mention it? I probably did already mention it. I'm going on the Camino de, de Frances uh, in a few couple of days time and I'm going to walk across Spain 520 miles from saint jean pierre de port to Santiago de Compostela and then on to Finisterre. Harrits of course, always brilliant, always lovely to pop in there and say hi. Coming down here is the lady who owns Copeland and also the gentleman who runs the wall pack in Pont St. Martin and they're looking shy. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, what I'll do, because I'm on this ridiculously long walk, I'll put the occasional video into We Love Grace Evans as well, and uh, highlight things, what I'm doing over there. And of course, this white elephant in town, which was the, the post office. This has been empty since they finished finished doing it. There's some flats upstairs, which must cost an absolute fortune. But the shops, which this is all owned by the West Suffolk Council, but of course, they can't get anybody to go in the shops. Primark, which was Debenhams, which should have been Palmer's. But the rateable value for that building is absolutely through the roof, it's phenomenal. Bit of a pride thing, Pride and Father's Day going on there. Slim Chickens is fairly new. Had a meal from there um, on either delivery or just eat or whatever it was. And I uh, wasn't impressed. Cost too much for too little. In fact, Slim, I can see why they're called Slim Chickens. I've driven past a couple of times and I've noticed that Selick's house or has changed a bit here. Um, grooming room, re, a relabel, a re, rebrand. Men's groom, grooming room. It's not easy to say. Cuts. No, what is it? Stop cuts. Top cuts. Top cuts. That could be a butcher's, couldn't it? Top, but it's not. It's a men's grooming room, and they've got a very nice-looking new sign. I do like colour blue. I think it's a, it's one of my favourites. And they're on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, is that oh Google? Of course, it's a, a G thing there. So yeah, first place to go. But, uh, oh, look at this sad thing. Uh, Casa, which was left by Maria. Broadbent, who left lots of debts when she left here. Naughty lady, but uh, she went up to a place called Rolleston, near Nottingham. And then she went on a skiing trip, and now she's passed away. This is new here, on point, 
think I think it's a hairdresser. Yes, uh, bookings, walk-ins. There's nobody there. They've got a snooker table in there, but yes, it's hairdressers, men's, I think. Great place to go and they'll be open tomorrow. That's Primal 8. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I tell you, so, so good. The food is brilliant in there. Oh, my days. What's this? Right, okay. This used to be the wedding shop, or a wedding shop. And now it's China Diamond Cupping. Oh, I like a bit of cupping. Uh, hot stone, ear candle. Oh, there you go. That's new. China Diamond. Over the road you can see Loyal Wolf Barbershop. The only place I've got to get my hair cut now, I wouldn't go anywhere else. Sam in there makes me look like my, my avatar, alright? And I wouldn't go anywhere else for my, cod, my fish and chips, which is the cod father over the road. We come full circle. Can you remember which shops was Rogers the toy shop? A bit further down, I think. Bimbos. I googled my symptoms, so I just need my hair done. I know that feeling. Handmade shop, of course. Jewelry by Tony. They're actually closed today, but it says, oh, it's Friday, oh, after four o'clock, I suppose. But they'll be open again tomorrow. And love it or love it. It's love it. And this is where I'll stop. Okay, thanks for watching.